Anyway, welcome to uh, Love Song Dedications, Andrew. Thank you. Good evening, Love God. How are you? Oh, very well. Yourself? Very, very well. Not getting a touch of the nerves at all about your upcoming wedding? Uh, no, no, no. It's, uh, it's all going well. Excellent. Very, um, uh, a lot to do, but uh, it's all going well. Excellent. And your beautiful lady, Marlene, how's she? She's fantastic. Well, we're going to play her a, a nice song tonight because she is totally on your mind 24-7 at the moment, I should imagine. Not that it's probably been any different since you met. No, it hasn't. Well, um, the reason for my call, in fact, is that um, a couple of years ago, uh, during my courting of Marlene, I arranged for a love song dedication, uh, which was to be uh, played on Valentine's night. Yeah. Uh, the plan was that the song would be played uh, whilst Marlene and I were driving in the car, uh, going to a restaurant. Unfortunately, uh, the plan didn't eventuate, and um, I requested for the song to be played at a certain time, but uh, it wasn't played for some reason or another at that instant. Um, I found out from a source that the song was in fact aired whilst we were having dinner. Oh yeah. no! Yeah. So Marlene missed that dedication. She that did. Night. She did. So uh, she didn't hold it against you, though. Uh, Obviously no, not. <laughs> no, she hasn't. She hasn't. But in um, in true uh, Steven Spielberg fashion, uh, it's only taken me two years in the making to think of something special. <laughs> <laughs> so so I figured, um, what better forum to express my love to the person I love on the love song dedication on national radio. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, as you think about your wife tonight, your beautiful Marlene, I, I wonder what it is that, that first attracted to attracted you to her in the in the first place. There are a number of things. Um, love God, uh, her extreme kindness, uh, her generosity to others, her manners, uh, her trustworthy, trustworthiness, um, her utmost respect for herself and others, uh, always thinking of others before herself. And uh, most of all, her attractiveness and the fact that she's so damn gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> you would count yourself as a, a blessed man, I should imagine, Andrew, knowing that Marlene has accepted your marriage proposal. Uh, yes, I am. I'm very lucky. And I suppose you've been thinking a, a bit about marriage. Yeah, I have. I have. It's just not a matter of um, getting married. I think it's, um, it's obviously um, it's a very important commitment and, um, and one that I've taken uh, and I've given a lot of thought to, actually. Sure. And... Uh, when you think about it, what does it mean to you, marriage? Uh, well, love God, I recently uh, read a short verse from an author named Wilfred A. Peterson. He wrote something called The Art of Marriage. Um, I really think that um, Mr. Peterson has hit, hit, hit the nail on the head uh, when he explains um, a good marriage must be created. In art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never too old to hold hands. It is never going to sleep angry. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together, facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for the things of the spirit. It is the common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. I think we need to frame that and put that on the wall. <laughs> yeah, I think um, Mr. Peterson has really... Uh, has really uh, Hit the nail on the head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think you and me both could uh, well and truly benefit from having that framed on the wall. I think we should. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, congratulations, Thank Andrew. Thank you very much. And, uh, I want to wish you and your beautiful bride all the best for the years ahead. Thank you. And I have a special song that we're going to dedicate to your beautiful Marlene. Uh, I, yeah, uh, I, just before we do that, love God, if I may, uh, can I just say a few few words? Please do. Marlene, in front of all, all of our family and friends, I promise to try my best to practice the art of marriage. You always say that I'm unromantic, as you always do. There could be no question that this puts this theory to bed, what I've done now for you, uh, on the love song dedication. Uh, so, uh, Marlene, please join me on the dance floor to perform our routine in front of our guests. I wish you all the best, you too. Thank, Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Marlene, this is for you. Love song dedications.